Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine no more can he except ye abide in me if ye abide in me and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you it shall be done unto you Great to have you at KJV Scripture Songs today. I have my King James Bible right here, and I'm in John chapter 15, two verses, verses 4 and verse 7. I want to teach you a great truth that the Lord showed me just this morning. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. Listen, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. Try a little experiment next year when it's a uh, garden growing time. Go to someone's house or maybe your own, and if there's a tomato plant there, just walk up to that tomato plant that's growing nice and strong, the vine parts in the ground with the roots, and then all of a sudden you see the branches coming off the main body, the vine. And if there's a couple tomatoes on there, just go ahead and grab that branch and just snap it off. Then go ahead and just lay it on the ground and leave it there for three or four days, then come back. I just want you to see how healthy that branch and that tomato or the tomatoes look since it was broken off the vine. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Uh, Brother Bill, it's not going to look too good. I know it's not, is it? Because it got off of the life-giving source that it was connected to. And Jesus says, no more can ye do what? Bear fruit. No more can ye except ye abide in me. You know, we're going to shrivel up as a branch and we're going to not produce any fruit if we are snapped off of the vine. And how do we do that? Well, maybe you've had some valleys you've gone through and you got a little bit of a heartache and you pulled yourself away from the vine. Maybe someone did you wrong, hurt you deeply, and you said, ah, I'm done for a while, and you broke yourself away from the vine. That's Jesus. You pulled away. But you know what? Now, do you see your life's empty? And do you see maybe it's kind of void of anything beneficial or fruitful? Yeah, it's time to get connected back into the vine. Don't be a branch that's broken away from the life-giving source of the vine, which is Jesus Christ. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Hey, if you're abiding in Jesus, which means you're literally spending time with him all the time and you're spending time in his word, then that means he can trust you when you ask him for something. Your heart's right with him and he'll do what you ask him to do. He will. Hey, would you rewind this back to the beginning and would you learn these two great verses and soak into your heart and mind the truth from these two verses. I hope you're not one of those out there that's just kind of floating around away from the vine today. If you are, come back to him, find a place to get alone with him and start abiding with Jesus again and you'll notice your life will change because that life is going to come back into you from him. Okay. All right. Take care. Come back and see us soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.